Well, good day, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for the invitation of this workshop. My name is Yongfen Chu. I am a part-time associate professor in the University of Paris Saclay in France. Uh, I worked with my colleague, uh, Professor Amir Ali Faiz in the research field of the urban environment. I did my PhD in the laboratory uh, CEREA. It's a teaching and research center of the atmosphere environment. So today I will talk about uh, numerical simulation of the energy exchanges in a real urban area with a 3D building resolving code. I hope you can enjoy my talk. So I've divided my talk into four parts, introduction, describe the model, simulation results, and finally give conclusion and present our future work. I think it would be best to start out by looking at the background. So as we know, urban modification to the local climate uh, manifested in a variety of forms. Urban buildings are the wind, temperature, and turbulent fields. The most prominent feature is the well-known uh, urban heat island. Other serious issues in the urban development, uh, such as air quality problem, uh, the energy consumption in buildings, uh, discomfort of the inhabitants, or even being dangerous because of the high wind velocity at uh, the pedestrian levels. As a consequence of these issues, focus was given on the research uh, in the field of urban physics, aiming to better understand and model the phenomena occurring in urban uh, areas and the atmosphere above. The complex morphology of an urban air results in a range of effects in the boundary layer and in the energy balance. Depending on the modeling phenomena, on different uh, scale models are used. Then the surface energy balance uh, is the physical process which couples the surface and the, the boundary layer. Uh, the energy balance of any point on our surface can be expressed uh, as this way. So our work aims to contribute to study the detailed energy exchanges between the buildings and the, at the urban atmosphere. Well, let's move on to the model design. Uh, the numerical schemes use the is the atmospheric module of Cotsatin developed by a French electricity company, EDF, and CREA. Cotsatin is a three-dimensional open source uh, computational fluid dynamics code, CFD code, which can handle complex geometries and physics. But here I will talk only about the atmospheric module. It takes into account the larger scale meteorological and the stratification of the atmosphere. In our simulations, buildings are explicitly defined, and the turbulence model is K epsilon. And based on the log law modified by the stratification, we apply a roof wall boundary condition. Now I'll briefly uh, describe our thermal radiation model. Actually, we modified the uh, infrared radiation model for combustion in the cold Saturn and adapt the radiative transfer in the atmosphere. And based on the described ordinate method, we resolved the relative transfer equation in a semi-transparent medium. The resolution of the numerical method is based on the relative wave directionally propagating. Uh, the special discretization use the same mesh as in the CFD model. Both the short and the long wave radiation are taken into account. Then to determine a key parameter uh, in the surface energy balance, the surface temperature. Uh, I propose a hybrid method to model the surface temperature. So for the ground, we use a force restore scheme. It's a simple approach, which is widely used for the soil models. Then for the building wall, we apply the wall thermal model, which requires the calculation of the heat conduction. Results. So first to ensure modeling accuracy, we started to evaluate the model with a field experiment with simple geometry. Then in order to focus on topics related to the interaction between radiative process and airflow in complex urban environments, so we also evaluated the model with some uh, real city projects. For example, a uh, capital project here, it's a joint experiment from February 2004 during one year in the city of Toulouse. 
uh, in the southwest part of France. So our study area is located in the central side of Toulouse, around the corner of the two streets. And in this neighborhood, uh, vegetation uh, is very scarce and buildings uh, around 20 meter height. During the project, study of the energy exchange between the surface and the atmosphere was one of the objectives. Uh, the base of the mast was on a roof at uh, 47 meters above the road, and here in this star part. So it provided data including radiation flux, sensible heat, latent heat, air temperature, wind speed, and the direction, uh, etc. Some Infrared radiometers were also set to observe the surface radiation temperature. The thermal infrared airborne images were also obtained during the project. From the experiments, we selected the day of July 15, 2004, which provides a lot of observation data uh, for the study center. The three-dimensional three simulation domain uh, has a size about uh, one kilometer large and a 200 meter height. Uh, the information about uh, the 3D urban structure is provided by the administrative authority of Toulouse. So after a series uh, of uh, optimization on geometry, so I built a prop geometry as shown here. So from the boundary uh, of the domain uh, to the center, I progressively written uh, more geometry details. So the building at these two streets are modeled with fine details. Then the surrounding buildings next to the center are simplified as urban blocks. The volumetric measure used here is about uh, 2 million uh, series. Then based on the paper of a pigeon, we set the thermal properties uh, such as conductivity and the thickness. Since the values from pigeon are Average uh, over the 500 meter cycle zone. So I made some calibrations uh, for the thermal parameters, uh, for instance. So by watching uh, some tools photos, uh, I classified four wall painting colors for the buildings in the center area to estimate the albedo. For the results, uh, the model can produce a visualization of the 3D uh, field. So, so first, let me play a small video about this simulation. So it shows a 24 hours evolution of the surface temperature and the airflow field. So the velocity vector are shown at the five meter high above the road. You can see follow the sunrise to sunset and surface temperature increased and decreased and the variation of the wind. So, Adapted to the applied boundary condition, we have evaluated the model, including the comparison with measured derino variation brightness temperature at the local position, a sensible heat flux, a relative flux, some more infrared pictures, and a statistical values with a handheld some more infrared uh, data. For example, here I show the measured some more infrared photos. Uh, and the model the brightness temperatures. So in, spite, in spite of uh, the fact that we did not keep all the elementary details on the roof uh, with uh, different orientations and slopes, but since we distinguish different albedo from painting colors, the model reproduces well the distribution of the brightness temperature, especially at the roof level. Anyway, over Overall, the agreement between the uh, measurements and the model simulations are fair, but uh, need to be improved with more information. Okay, to conclude, we have investigated the energy exchanges with the atmosphere of capital campaign uh, using a new atmospheric relative and thermal schemes implemented in the 3D uh, CFD code. A simulation results. Um, show the importance of the modeling in detail while doing local model observation comparison. So this type of tools can be applied to detailed studies of uh, local urban climate uh, to study the present condition and the future scenario, such as the densification uh, of housing and the introduction 
of green area or, or green wide roofs. It can be used to uh, further assess the street canyon ventilation potential, uh, the possible shading strategies on building surface, and the influence of both aspects on the indoor thermal comfort and the air quality. So this tool is also well suited to the study of hotspots uh, in the air quality of urban centers. Uh, it can also contribute to future research and applications in the field of wind uh, engineering uh, in, the, in the urban environments when the thermal situation is of importance. This model results are encouraging and give insights into local surface atmosphere process, but uh, further testing uh, has to be performed with other data sets. That's all. Thank you very much for your attention.